everybody. It is Sunday today and Louise and I are in the car. We're currently in London. We are driving to Brixton. We are taking Dad out for his birthday. It's not his birthday until Tuesday, but we thought we'd take him out today as we're all available. And kind of an interesting one, which I'm definitely not going to be allowed to film, so I'll tell you about it now. Uh, we are taking him to a restaurant called The Clink, which is a restaurant within a prison in London and all of the staff and chefs are prisoners in the prison and they're working towards a qualification in like food service or cooking or something like that so kind of interesting I think we're gonna get searched on the way in uh, you're not allowed to wear anything above your knees or show any boobs or anything um, so I did have to get changed just before I left the house because I didn't quite realize that dad doesn't yet know where we are going so we're gonna meet him in Brixton and then we're gonna walk there from there uh, it's gonna be interesting I think we've had a look at the menu it looks amazing doesn't it mm. it's like pigeon and pheasant and I've been meaning to try game recently so today could be the day and it's a beautiful day today it's really sunny Ooh. oh it's not the nicest building to show you We're just dropping everything into the car because we're not allowed to take anything with us and then we'll go. So we'll see you in a few hours. <laughs> it's about three hours later and we are finished in the clink now. We're just going for a pint with dad before we all say goodbye and then I'll give you the full review. So it was very interesting <laughs> and a bit of drama. We had a bit of drama. <laughs> Okie dokes, I am home now and I am in my pyjamas. Uh, it's time to tell you about the clink. So it was really interesting. First of all, you arrive and you go to this little hut where you check in, you give in your ID and they talk you through what you can and can't take into the prison. The only thing you can take is your credit card and up to £30 in cash. And, uh, and then we waited for the rest of the group because you have to wait for everyone in your time slot to arrive before you can go in. Uh, they took us through the security door um, <laughs> and uh, the boys had to line up on one side and the girls had to line up on the other and we all started being searched. Now it was at this point that Louise clocked eyes with me and I could tell immediately that something was wrong. So I was like, what, what's happened? And uh, and then she pulled her phone out of her pocket, uh, which we've been told five times up until this point that was prohibited. Um, <laughs> so she immediately told the guard, she was like, I'm so sorry, I don't even know what I was thinking. It just felt right for it to be in my pocket. I didn't, I didn't put it in a locker. And uh, at the time he kind of made a joke out of it and was like, oh, we've got a naughty one amongst us. And he took her phone and he went and locked it up. And then we were let into the restaurant. So um, we had a three course meal. I had pigeon breast, and then I had a lamb roast and a sticky toffee pudding. And one of the waiters, uh, he was called Momo, he was our waiter. He was one of the prisoners at the prison. And you're allowed to ask them questions about, you know, what they're, what they're doing, why they're there, how long they've got left and stuff. And we hadn't really asked many questions during our meal. So towards the end we thought, actually, we should take this opportunity to to ask them some questions. Um, by which time Momo, I don't know if he'd finished his shift or something, but he wasn't really around. Uh, so one of the other prisoners came over and we were having a bit of a chat to him. We learnt that Brixton Prison is a Category C prison, which means that the longest that anyone can be there is two years. And this particular waiter had four months left and then he was gonna be moved to a Category D prison, an open prison in Brighton. They're basically all working towards a qualification um, either in cooking or hospitality, yes. And it just looks really good on their prison records when they get reviews. It looks much better that they're out and about and being productive and not just kind of staying in their cell all day and doing nothing. Um, they get paid about 25 pounds a week. That's the most that they can get paid which I thought was really interesting I don't know how many shifts or how long it's open for um it's not really open that long you have to book well in advance and then uh the guy came the guy that took Louise's phone came over and told her that she could relax and eat her meal she wasn't going to get in any trouble for taking her phone in and then at the end when we went back through the security gate um he asked Louise to come around a particular side to go and pick up her phone apparently the guy was quite serious about it and he said look what what you've done is really serious and um if it ever happens again um it can be a from five to ten years in prison for smuggling in uh, a device to one of the inmates which obviously is not what she was doing but uh, it's that kind of security so it was a bit crazy really but it was really fun the food was good I've never tried pigeon before so that was cool if by the way you're picturing something like this which is what I was picturing it's nothing like that at all this is in fact what it looks like in the restaurant you would not really know that you were in a prison um, 
other than the fact that you do know, but you wouldn't know if someone just plopped you there with blindfolded. Anyway, I'm home now. I'm so full and bloated and uncomfortable. So I think I'm just going to read some of my book and have a really relaxing evening. I have a new obsession and it's Billie Eilish and the song Bury a Friend. It's so good. I'll link this video down below if you want to be entertained. She's so cool, I don't know how I didn't know about her until now. I just ordered two pairs of cute earrings on ASOS. I got these ones which are just tiny little um, like lines. Love those, it's really sweet. And then these ones which are circular on the front of your ear. I think these are going to look cool. I have just taken my makeup off and gotten ready for bed. I've just been watching loads of Billie Eilish videos ordered those earrings, ordered myself a glue gun because I've got an exciting project in mind and um, I'm going to head off to bed now I think I'm going to just run and do my teeth downstairs and then um, up bright and early in the morning for a service in MOT on Mr Bonoffi so pray for me uh, thanks for watching this vlog and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Good night. <laughs>